People say that money don't grow in trees, but what they didn't know is, if you just know the right formula, it actually can. What's up everyone, it's Carlo De Gatsby here and today I'm going to show you how to grow money on trees in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first step is to tape some money to the plant. Make sure the tape won't show so it won't be obvious in the video. The first scene is when your subject is growing and harvesting money from the plant. Just act as if you're very happy and excited even if that's not really the case. You can now remove the money from the plant and get ready for the next scene. The next scene is just shooting the plant by itself. Make sure that the plant and camera position is identical in both clips. Go into the edit, drag both clips to the timeline. Now put the plant clip on the first video track, drag the clip with the subject on the second track on top of the first clip. So now we create a mask around the area where the money grows. Once you're done masking, go back to the effects control panel on the top left corner, go to mask and tick the box which has inverted. So what's happening is the plant clip in track 1 is covering the area where the money grows in track 2. So the next step is to duplicate the clip in track 2. So click on the clip in track 2, press an old alt or command in Mac and drag it to track 3. Now zooming into the timeline, press plus in the keyboard, we'll just scrub through the clip and we'll try to locate where will the money start growing? Once we find the appropriate timing, you cut the third clip up to that part, and then you delete the old mask. Now we'll create a new mask around the $50 bill, and once you've finished, you go to the effects control panel and adjust the anchor point. Now you put the anchor point at the tip of the bill where you want the money to start growing. So the anchor point is the indicator where the money starts growing. Well, now we'll create an animation by adjusting the scale. Now we adjust the scale. Since I upscale this clip to 116, that will be the default scale. So I'll drag that all the way to the end of the clip. Then I'll set the scale at zero at the beginning of the clip. To make the growth smoother, we'll just right click the last keyframe and select ease in. To make the growth more realistic, we'll add some rotation to it. So where the money starts growing, set the rotation to negative 5 and then move 5 frames forward. Shortcut is shift in the forward arrow key and then set it to 5, shift forward arrow, set it to negative 5, shift forward arrow, set it to 5 and then go to the last keyframe. Just copy the old keyframes, move 5 frames forward again and then paste it. Go to the last keyframe, move 5 frames forward, copy and paste it again. And then you copy the third clip on the fourth and the fifth and so on. So you do the same animations for all the dollar bills. Now we'll go to the part where I'll grab cash. Now you cut the clip in that part, put a cross dissolve, and then you click the last clip, select mask, and delete the mask from the last clip. And that's pretty much it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!